Hey everyone, this is Tim from Tim's Fish Shop. Um, we are going to have a little walkthrough of how to set up your Rainbow Shiner breeding setup. So I know a lot of you have asked um, how we're doing it. I've shown videos before, but I'm going to show you each item that I use and how I use it uh, to go ahead and get the Shiners ready to breed and spawn and, you know, let the magic happen. So stay tuned. Alright, so first off, this is just a plant basket that I got at Home Depot. Tossed in some rocks, that's all. I have a little seven, eight gallon cube tank. It really doesn't matter. You could do a five, you could do a, a 10, whatever fits. And uh, as you can see, I have a sponge filter in there. You really don't need a sponge filter. I just use it because it's already cycled, ready to go, just in case for the fish. Um, what you need is the bubbles. So either an air stone. I like using a long air stone like this because it creates a ton of little bubbles underneath. The fish really seem to like it. Um, have a little bit of like mature water in there from their tank up here. As you can see, there there's quite a few, and those females are really fat. But anyways, um, yeah. So what we're gonna do is just toss this guy in here on top. The goal is to get the plant basket above the water line, as you can see. So that way uh, they have to stay right there in the basket. They can't get out and the bubbles kind of just help them a little bit. So I'm going to toss them in tonight and we'll see what happens. All right, so I went ahead and got all my uh, shiners and you can see they're gorgeous right now, all lit up. Um, beautiful colors, look at that. Blue, chrome, red. And you can see the really wide ones right there. Those are the females. And so I ended up getting more than uh, I usually do because my females are full of eggs and I'm probably going to end up like a couple thousand of them. But yeah, look at them. I mean, God, they are just gorgeous. So we'll see what happens tonight. I'm going to go ahead and put a lid over this. I'll let them go. Um, water temp's a little bit chilly. So let me put a 50 gallon, or I'm sorry, a 50 watt heater in there just to warm it up a tiny bit. We'll see what happens. That should, uh, that should do it. Um, the temperature has to be slightly above what they're used to and then they start breeding. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a 50 watt heater in and yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, everyone, so thanks, I appreciate it. That's my video on rainbow shiner uh, breeding, uh, spawning, hatching, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, go ahead and check it out, check all my videos out. I really appreciate it, I enjoy this, it's fun, it's a hobby that relaxes me. Um, I also turned it into a shop, you can find it at timsfishshop.com. Uh, if you like what I do, give this video a subscribe, a like, and a share on all your social media accounts, your friends, whatever. Let's get the name out there, Tim's Fish Shop. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to support me in other ways, you can see that I make all these custom myself. These are uh, stickers and magnets. I got cribs, I got placos, I got various other cichlids, I got madaka. Um, yeah, like just go ahead and check it out. I sell fish, I sell plants. Tim's Fish Shop, subscribe, like, share. Again, I really appreciate it, and this is a extremely fun hobby and very addictive. So get out there, do your thing. I appreciate it. Have a good one.